Hello and welcome back to American Falls. Now we are contracting our butts off to try and get ourselves settled in with the community. And I've already gone out and, or not gone out, but I've already run around and managed to get ourselves a couple of contracts lined up for today. Our first one is a flax harvest and we're going to be heading down to field 34 for, I think it's, oh, I forget his name now, Mr. Colin Powell, I think it's Colin Powell. And 34 is down um, opposite the uh, Mr. Farquhar Timber Services, Logging Services. So we're going to be heading down there. The equipment should be delivered for us, hopefully. And we'll be able to crack on with that. So today we are running a different version of the map from last time it's been updated with a few changes we've got a few field changes um, there's been some changes to the animal pens and things like that as we've been uh, fiddling about and, and doing things um, unfortunately in the update we've also lost a few things so down by this field I will just say that there should be a train track beside it everything else is there apart from the track so hopefully uh, that'll be back in the next updated version I get but these things happen in testing as you update and change things and do stuff and it's just how it goes sometimes but just in case you wonder what is that down beside there well that's where the track is supposed to be now I believe we get to our field that's Mr Farquhar timber services or login services is behind us Farquhar's login I think we get in here, around the side the uh, the grain. That would probably be the better place to describe it, wouldn't it? <laughs> Down by the grain mill or the flour mill. But this is what we're working with today. Probably uh, back yourself up a little bit to get out of the way. I don't want to leave your truck. But I'm going to smack into it because it's the sort of thing I do. There we are. Beautiful. Right. So we have, what have we got? We've got the John Deere 7810 uh, with the uh, Class Corrupt 140. Uh, we've got a T560i with subsequent header. And this is our flak that we are harvesting. Now it's quite a, an irregular field. It was right round the back here. So I think we should be able to get this done today, hopefully. Uh, like I say, I have, uh, I have agreed another contract as well, so hopefully we can get both of them in today. Let's just jump in. Open her up. Now that's also why uh, my money is a bit different from what we had. What did we have? 12, 112 grand, I think. But I haven't, haven't picked up the um, collectibles I picked up before, so we'll just we'll just have 110. Because I'm not sure if I picked up two or three collectibles last time. But this is the flax. This is a new crop for the map. So if we once I get going, we'll see if we can get a nice angle so you can see the crop as we do it. Now we can get a straw off this. I don't think. But well, I know we're not going to be doing anything with the straw. So I may even... We'll just spread that. You can use the flat straw. But we've, uh, we've, we've got nothing to bail out, nothing to pick up with, nothing to transport it with. So let's not... Let's not create a mess for ourselves. This is our flat. Now, later on at some point, I am hoping to get, um, I think I said before, some videos done showing uh, where the different, the new straws, where they go, where they sell, what animals take what, and also with the, the alfalfa. I've had a lot of questions about alfalfa, alfalfa uh, wrapping, alfalfa fermenting, 
you know, we'll, I'll try and do some stuff, show them the alfalfa and the bunkers, and see if we can wrap some and ferment it and, and do things like that. You know, unfortunately, I just haven't had the time to sort of record stuff. My, uh, my priority has been with this map, it's been just, you know, every time I get a little update or a little bit, a bit of time, I get on, I see what's working, what isn't, what's changed, is it still feeling right, that sort of thing. So, like I said before, getting, getting content on, out on the map isn't necessarily my priority, but having a bit of fun with it in between while I'm waiting for updates, why not? But I hope you're all well. Um, enjoying a scorcher over here in the UK. Absolutely beautiful weather. A little bit too much for me. I've got that that freckled ginger skin. Even as an old man, I still burn within a few seconds. Which frustrates my son because he wants to be out in the garden with him all the time. And even with sun cream on, I am getting crispy and hot. Now I am thinking that probably in the next next episode or two of the series, we might look into getting a loan. See if the bank can afford us a loan. There's a small plot uh, if I can bring up our map. Yeah, there's a small plot which is just south of uh, the little field 19, and there is a vehicle all on there and it also has a grain silo. It comes with a bit of woodland as well so we can expand that or we'll do something with it. Let's see how much that costs and to see if that's one that we can afford. So we'll just sort of start trying to uh, work towards getting a fleet. If we can get a loan, buy some land, it'll be hard to get a loan because we don't own anything. But get a loan Buy that little bit of land. Maybe get some second-hand tractors or some second-hand equipment. Even if we get second-hand tractor and like some spraying equipment or some spreading equipment, so we can do some fertilizer contracts or some spraying contracts without sort of leasing everything all the time. That would be nice. Just we could then just say, right, we're going to have a day out. We're going to fur for the community, and I can have a whole day and we can just fur, you know, four or five fields in a day make some money that way. So I need to make sure we've got the money to start with though. There's the uh, the beautiful red brick buildings. Absolutely love these. Gorgeous. This is our train track. As you can see, you can see where the track is supposed to be and where it was. And uh, I think the train even has still come come down along it. I can't say, I'm sure I saw the train shoot past, but no track. So we'll see, we'll see if we can catch a train. I only just noticed it as well, I was doing some other things elsewhere. And I, I sort of came around to check the fields and, and what we'd be doing at today's contracting. I was like, oh, what's, what's happened there? And I had to think for a minute, was, was this where the track was, is, is it supposed to be further along this is just like a derelict part but I did go and explore and that is our train track land ownership as you see there, very specific do not own that bit of grass or the, with this field it doesn't come with that now in in a in updating uh, on this version um, there's been, been some changes to uh, the land ownership and how it's been broken down and I might try and shove that in something else because no one's going to watch these and some people might just want to know about that um, but in the live stream if you've watched that if you haven't go and watch it then you'll know what we're referencing in the live stream we were discussing like in some in some places on the map Lancy's put in like silos and uh, decorative silos decorative sheds um, halls and things like that don't really have a function and he was worried about whether he should give them a function add more cell points and stuff like that uh, and I sort of said to him that it would be, it'd be pretty cool you know, to leave them we've got enough 
mods in the mod hub on PC and on console that you can put in whatever you want and leaving them plots just as they are with enough space to put down a cell point or a trigger or something like that adds a little bit of versatility and customization to the map. In this update he has now broken those areas down so that they are purchasable and then once you want to purchase them you can then put um, the cell point in it or whatever it is you want to add to it so that's that's a new, new thing that's come. As we as we head over on our next contract later on, we'll, uh, we'll have a look because I believe there's one of those sites is near us. In fact, that one right there on our left could be that could be one of. Them. If I have a little look, no, this one isn't. But the one next to us is so the other the other shed or the other shed the other um, custom baseball that he's put in here. 77, that's a new plot of land, whereas that was all part of one thing here now. Um, so you can now purchase that. It costs uh, 49 grand, and there is space around the back, space around the front, that you can put in some sort of cell point. And you can see it through the trees, there you go. You can drop in some sort of cell point, or, or whatever it is you want to do with it, and turn it into something. And instead of, so to do that, you have to buy the land to, uh, to make it work. And since this is you know, set up with the uh, in the concept that you are trying to build up land, build up you know trust, and build up industry, and, and get the town going again. I just think that's a, a nice little uh, little way of doing it. I think this job, by the way, is paying out about six and a half, seven grand. Not massive again. It's a starting point. Uh, the other contract, if we, if we did get it in today, I think that's a lot less. I think that was um, maybe three, three grand again. We've had a three grand contract before, so we've got another three grand contract. But that brings us up another ten, another ten grand for the day, and any collectibles that we may stumble across, most valuable. Add to the uh, to the mix. And while we're doing this as well, I'd like to thank everyone that did watch the first episode, and uh, the comments, the feedback, the people that are completely new to the channel, and uh, are getting involved. And you know, kind words said. Uh, I do apologise for the audio. Um, it wasn't my best, and I don't know why that is. It certainly, didn't sound like that as I was editing it. It's, it's come out a little bit weird. I think I had um, a few software updates prior and I did go and check all my settings. So hopefully this one will sound a little bit better. I don't normally sound that lispy and the more I'm now focused on not sounding lispy I probably sound even more lispy. But anyone that has been with me for a while knows that I'm never happy with the audio just never happy with it. I fiddle with it way too much. One day, one day I'll get better at that. <laughs> just leave it alone. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, there's been a lot of compliments to Lancy uh, with Pat, just how nice and pleasant the map looks, and it is. It's very pleasant. It's very detailed. But it's not like overwhelming me detailed if that makes sense so there's not too much that you feel it's cluttered or anything like that there's, there's lots of open space there's plenty of room around the fields as well as tight as some of it is there's, there's still the space i've had very little issue um, testing the fields with horse play and getting them to work around the fields and do stuff. So that's good. Horse play friendly is always nice. All the fields aren't necessarily worker friendly because you know they're irregular, like this one. But 
but I prefer irregular fields. There's some square ones and there's some angled. I mean, this is, you know, relative, relatively square and angled in some places, but it's, it's got character as well. Well, we're at 85% capacity now, um, just in time, the train is coming. So the train's there, it's just the track that's missing. Um, yeah, we've been getting through it quite nicely, it's now midday. Uh, unfortunately, it's showing rain to come later on, uh, which is uh, quite unfortunate. Like I said, we do have another harvest contract lined up. So, oh, I've missed my line there. Terrible. Um, so yeah, hopefully the rain will hold off till a little bit later. Sometimes it comes and shows early, so hopefully that's not going to be an issue for us. Now me being a bit picky, I'm going to have to get that. I'm going to have to do it. But I had myself lined up. I've been going really well. <laughs> this is always the case for me. Everything goes really smooth until I hit record. And it just turns to absolute <laughs> dog crap. Right, let's get this bit in. Hopefully that means we can go up, go down, and uh, have our pipe pointing out of the crop for an unload. At least there's that. Got to find the positives in it when we can. And this... I think we had to be harvest flak last time, and the flak went and got delivered to the barn. Uh, or the bale cell point. I think this is going to the bale cell point as well. I'll have to, have to check with uh, Mr. Powell's and, uh, just to make sure that that is correct. I'm sure that's where we're going. Hopefully, during that little little jump, managed to get a few a few bits that we can use put together. Show what we're doing. For example, we're trying to try and avoid the time lapses. I've had a few people say, you know, they don't mind time lapses. They're not their favourite, but they'll they don't mind them. And that's that's sort of how I feel about them. I use them, but that's how I feel about them. like if they're in. I'm not upset that someone's using them when I'm watching their content. Um, but I, you know, I do like either a montage, and like I say once I've got some, uh, start setting up some course play courses and things like that, we'll, we'll do montages, montages aren't necessarily the best when you're just still sitting in the cab, this is pretty limited, but if we can get some nice montages going later on we will, I do have, and I forgot to put it on, this would have stopped me from getting out of sync, like I forget to engage it as soon as I start recording, we do have GPS on our harvester. will unload when we get to the end here. Bring the pipe out. I mean there's every chance that I could get another another up and down in there but let's be safe. Because there's nothing more annoying than having to back into your crops. I, I back in. Some people probably drive in. Some people take the time to actually <laughs> move the harvester. I sometimes do that. If it was my field and my crop I would because it would get destroyed, but since it's a AI field, a contract field, so we can't damage the crops, so we don't tend to worry about it too much. We'll uh, go get our little John Deere. It's a he healthy sized field. I just don't think it's a very high yield and uh, crop, the flat, and you do get the the flax straw from it as well, so that you, you tend to find that in in farms in that the crops that will uh, yield you straw are often a little light 
on the actual the crop itself or sometimes not worth as much because you can sell the straw and make money there. Let's get ourselves under that. Let's have a little look at the flak as I go in. Nicely done crop. The green team. All in, let's uh, let's crack on mate. So by the looks of it, all of this field will fit in that trailer. I like it when it does. It's, it's just easier for cart. If you can get it all in and then do it all at the end, it's just much easier. So it's going to straighten itself out. So I don't use the GPS that often. I'm not always confident that it's, it's going to run as I want it to. Because I'm a fool. Right, well, I'll crack on with this. Like I say, we do have another harvest contract lined up. So we'll, we'll crack on with this and see what we have uh, come the end. And uh, what sort of money we can make up if there's any bonus crop. In the end, we managed to get another two and a half thousand liters off the field, so that should give us what's that? Nine, twelve, nearly thirteen. Yeah, nearly twelve, nearly twelve thousand liters of flax to deliver. I think I left the harvester on. There we go. I will turn it off though. Wipe away. Oh. Hold it up. I shan't worry too much about putting the header away. Oh, I'll let them do that. Let's go do the delivery. I think for this delivery, I'll take you guys with me. And then, dependent on where the next delivery is, uh, will be whether we, we jump or not. But we'll, and so we want to try and show the map more than anything. That's what this is all about. Let's have a, a ground's eye view as we traverse. Notice how the barrier is now open. We arrived before 9 o'clock, now the barrier is open. Uh, so that's, that's something to be aware of on, on some of these sail points as well. So I think we literally want to go right then left. As in straight across. Farquhar's login services on our right. Yeah, so it's the, the, the bale again. Uh, there's been quite a few questions about Anhydros. Uh, Anhydros is built into the map but if on PC for if you wish to use that as um, with a, a mod, a placeable mod or something like that. It's already built in, so there's something there. So there's extra options on, on where ooh, what happened there, on where we get it and where we go and, and things like that. And it is, I say, if you if you use have a mod that then runs the precision farming uh, equipment with Anhydros, then that's there as well. So you can use it to uh, improve field states. And that is a PC only function from my gathering. I'm not sure. Are there? And Hydros mods on console. Is there a corn? I know there's a corn drive, but I'm not certain if there's a. Uh, it uses the Anhydros, whether it is just a corn drive placeable that sort of just runs with that function. That that bumping around that we get in is the cat's eyes. So they're all exactly the same. I've looked at them. All the cat's eyes are the same. But sometimes if you catch your wheel just on it or the trailer just on the cat's eye. You see me clip and bump. It's just one of them things. The the light and everything has been added to that barn now. That's more functional. That's been improved. Something else has come with it. That should 
pig farm down there. So these are your, these are your bigger fields over on this side. And I believe we are dropping off here. I hope so. If we uh, look at our map got an exclamation so hopefully it is for this contract and not the contract we have lined up for later drop it in not sure how much sort of bonus we'll get from it a couple of grand was that a three grand bonus for that so I'll get this back to uh, field 34 uh, we'll jump in our Ford and we'll head out and try and get to the next contract. So with the contract complete, we got paid about five and a half grand, a little over, a few extra dollars. And we are off to field eight, like I say, for a Harvison contract. Uh, Leroy Wilson, I believe is uh, our guy. Uh, field eight is next to the field that we harvested last time. So sort of in the middle here, just past our trailer park. His equipment is set up for us here as well, much like before. Gone a bit too quick now. Slow down Mr. Farquhar, there's no rush. Well there is a rush actually because we've got rain on the way. So I did see the equipment. I'm going to park our trailer up around this side and we're going to collect this again. I'll have that. I think we collected up three or four from here last time, so if I uh, if I spot them, we'll get them again. Uh, but this contract again has given us the the John Deere seventy eight ten, the Ascarat, the I always forget numbers T five sixty I. I should imagine we'll get this a lot, and subsequent header. And we are Harvesting sorghum. Perhaps it wasn't Sorkum that we did last time, I can't remember. It was Flax, weren't it? So, yeah, this is what we got, this is what we're doing. This one is a lot smaller, as you'll see when we get into it. So let's jump into the harvester. I, I should imagine we'll get all of this in the harvester hopper. Hopper? hopper what the hell? In the harvest hopper. I don't think we'll uh, need much in the way of emptying out and, and do in that way. I am just going to go around this bit. So I can just sort of sneak on to the end here. So yeah, as you can see, this this one, but, uh, yeah, is, I think it's about half the size, so we should easily get this done. No sweat. So if I just bring my header down a little bit. We know it's set for contract. Like I say, the, uh, the land ownership very specific. And I've got my extra straws on, so we'll get rid of that. That is a mod that I run. The uh, more straw. Do I still call it more straw? It's not called more straw anymore, is it? But the uh, the extra the extra straw on crops. Just because I'm a I'm a freak that likes bailing all the time. So anything we can get will have but it just classes as straw so it'll still sell and work in all the other functional places as base game straw the only one that is different will be the um, soybean straw because that is that is built into the map soybean straw and corn stalks because I've always run um, corn straw corn stalks of straw as well I've uh, disabled that for this map because there is corn stalks built into it and then they have their own function within the map rather than me making my own. And I think there's been an update to that map, that mod as well, that stops overwriting built-in um, straws. So if the map had, previously if there was a, the map had extra straws built into it, uh, the mod overrode it, whereas now it doesn't, so it shouldn't have made a difference, but just in case. We don't want conflicts where we don't have to have conflicts. 
especially when testing. When on on the testing save, uh, there's pretty much no mods other than those quality of life ones that you need to just sort of whip around and do stuff and spawn stuff in. We have the easy dev and things like that, but actual uh, mods that are change and affect the game we don't tend to to have in. Again, we get to see, uh, let's say, another bit. Obviously, we saw from over on that harvest, we see another bit of the map. And uh, the creek set in the more rural, although the whole thing is rural, the uh, the more rural the creek and everything, you see sort of the, the logging part of it. We've got some logs spread about, and the spruce trees and pine trees and what have you that are here. We will be looking to tackle some trees sort of early on instead of avoiding it because that's going to be a way of us for making money and we can replant as well we're not just like normally in one of my series we just cut down trees because we want to expand fields and merge fields and stuff like that and you know if, if this series goes on for a while then we'll probably do that no doubt as you can already see we can take it take out those trees you could merge these two together and make a nice big field so that's the sort of thing i'm always looking for but yeah, we'll look to do some actual log and buy up some, some woodland area, some forestry area and uh, take out some trees, plant some trees. At the minute I'm only running one day months. I'm not sure if I said I was going to run one or two, but I thought well, with the reboot I'm just going to run one because I want to get to the next month anyway. So we'll do that, but if, uh, you yeah. know. Once we have land, once we have things we need to do for ourselves, we can add in a day and stuff like that. Time is pretty flexible. I'm running on one. I think so far today I've run one, three, five, ten, and fifteen. But I don't like it going too slow. In fact, I think a five would be fine. I'm just wary of uh, the rain. I forgot to check what time the rain was going to come. It would be nice to get the harvest in before the rain comes. If obviously if the rain comes, we stop harvesting and uh, we'll wait for it to stop. So to finish the contract, it could mean a little bit of late night harvest. Again, not something that we generally do over here, nighttime harvest, unless we've got a mad rush on. I don't think we've done any late night harvesting since probably Maple. We put some pressure on ourselves on the Maple series. Mainly because we dumped in maize, <laughs> added maize plus in when we had uh, 16 head of cow. And uh, that kicked my ass for about two or three months. <laughs> had to slowly wean the, wean the herd down just to balance it out. And even then I still think I had too many. I think I brought it down to like 200, 200 dairy cows and 100 beef. From 500 dairy and 100 beef. So we still had a few. I like a challenge. Why not? I mean, if it's all too easy, the fun sort of disappears a bit too quick because it's a repetitive game. So if you just if it's repetitive and easy, then uh, you, I, personally I lose interest too quickly. If I've got to actually work for something and try and, and do, then, uh, then yeah, you, I sort of stick at it a bit more. That's why, as a rule. Uh, I don't generally use a lot of the uh, the cheaty tools as I call them. We sometimes do. We on the Shire Farm on the map challenge. We do have some in that one because if not, it would just be insane trying to uh, own the map, run the map, and farm the map without having some extra capacities and stuff. So, and we do sometimes use the uh, True Speed on, on all series just because. When you're doing your spraying and stuff at six miles an hour, it feels super slow. But we tend to always harvest at uh, harvest speeds. We don't tend to speed that up. Uh, sometimes plowing and cultivating that get done a little bit quicker if we can. But nothing on it. We never we never like harvest and or not harvest. We never cultivate and, and plow at like 15, 20 miles an hour or anything like that. We just up at one or two miles just to just to sort of get through the job sometimes.
another another nice view of the vista. Yeah, and this side of the map feels a lot more flatter. And the other side of the train track, when it returns, a little bit more undulation. On the larger fields, you've got more undulation, I feel. Now, I was saying about the other... I mean, this this part in front of us might be one that we could try and get. If we could get a big enough loom, I'm sure all that shed space will seem excessive when we have no machinery, but then if we got that, then we could look at the, these two fields. I mean, on their own, they probably wouldn't cost too much. They're not very big. That, that could be a good start point. So there are a few. There is the old one, the old... Uh, the old farm. That's the sheep farm over there. The old farm is over that way. Those white sheds in the distance. If I can pan up a little bit, we might be able to see it better. Over there. What am I getting that? I don't think that one has a grain silo though, so we may still need the other plot for a grain silo. Although we could always uh, work in bins, the uh, the the auger filling bins, as I said before, getting into them, I quite like them. I think since this is the same machinery, doing the same job, just a different crop and a crop that we all know, I'll uh, I'll shut up for a bit now. I'll I'll just crack on, and I'll probably bring you back once I've got this field done, because I think it's all going to go in this hopper. I don't think this is going to be too much of a challenge for me. Or if it rains. If it rains, I'll bring you back then. Missed a bit. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in just a second. We're at 80% capacity, and it is getting grey. It's now 10 past 4. Now, I'm really hoping that the cell point that they want us to take it to that the barrier stays open until 5 because I think they were set for 8 till 4 but they're not open until 9 so I really hope 9 till 5 is a thing I think we've pretty much got it all we want every last little penny's worth need it. We need the money to uh, buy some stuff of our own. Please, thank you, sir. Right, that was the last little minuscule drop. So we'll just take this over here. Park it here, that should be fine. We'll jump out. Uh, little John Deere with the trailer again. I know, I know they aren't the perfect American models, but I feel like at least when the contracts are giving us this, giving us this stuff, it has put of an American feel to it than the uh, the blatant European tractors. I didn't even pay attention. How much was in there? Like 7,000 litres? Wasn't, it wasn't loads, was it? 80%? Must be like 7,000. I'll jump out because I will want to fold up and put away once we're done. Yeah, it's got very grey, very quick. So I'm assuming the rain is on its way. Got to enjoy the animations while you can. We will be cheeky and just loop through. And I'm certain that this is going. We just bring up the little map. Yeah, back to where we came from. So I'll head down there and uh, you guys can join me for the drop off. By the way, 8,106 litres is what we had. 
So let's get moving. Our destination is just ahead of us. So fingers crossed. The barrier is up. I can't see from here. My old man eyesight isn't that good. Oh no, it looks like the barrier might be... No, nope, that's... Uh, that's something else. I hope that's something else. Yeah. Oh, the barrier is down. The barrier is down. What are we going to do? We can't make our delivery. I know the municipal's on hard times and such, unless it is another another point. I thought it was going there. Let's just uh, bring that. Oh, no, it's not that one. Is it that one? Maybe not. Hopefully not. Oh, it's going to the production point. Is it going in there? That barrier is down as well. Unless that is just me not reading the map right. Does these drop off in there? Let's just check on the contract. It says C production. So it should go in here. Not where the uh, little symbol is. It should go in here. We might be alright. Let's see, let's see what happens. Oh, it's still against the contract. Nice. And an extra two grand. Well, that was a slight worry, but <laughs> that's good. But the barriers clearly come down. So you only have nine till four. So that also means the store is going to be nine till four on openings. I'm not sure if Lance can adjust that at all. I'll, uh, I'll message him later and just let him know that that is something that we're looking at at the minute. Because that's going to be a little bit debilitating at times with late harvests and things like that. You're going to have to keep your harvest until morning, which isn't generally a problem. But we have nowhere to store vehicles and you don't want to be leaving your grain trailers out overnight. Especially when, like tonight, you've got rain set. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But anyway, I'll get this back and we'll... Uh, jump in the Ford and see if we can complete our contract. So we managed to get another three grand for that one. So that's brought us up to 125,000 on the day. And we avoided the rain with a little bit of luck from time adjustment, I think. I mean, we never went lower than one. So, you know, we didn't, we didn't slow time down that it didn't progress, but... We didn't want to get caught out in that, that's for certain. So it's time for us to head home. Another day, another month in the bag. Trying to do our bit for American Falls Community. Hopefully you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. Let me know what you think. Any feedback on the map, I try and pass on what I can. I'm sure I'll answer read comments. It doesn't mean that anything you request or say will change, but it's, it's good to have feedback. Same with the series. Anything you'd like to see me try and do, I don't necessarily normally do, let me know. But you guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.